welcome back. We're watching a little bit more Yuru Camp. What could possibly go wrong? Probably best not to ask that question, really. But with a teacher now fully free to enjoy her evenings and her drink, the other camp is really just getting along. One of them taking a little trip by themselves, you know, the solo adventure calls. It was nice to see that uh, each of them have a slightly different sleep schedule. Some waking up, going back to bed. Some not waking up at all. How many sights are they going to see on this one? Is anyone going to be left behind? Is anyone going to breathe their last while trying to scale a slight hill again? Let's if we just try and find out, right? Is this a previous conversation, a goodbye from times gone by? And is she still remembering all of these uh, promises and wanting to hang out now that she's got this new club and life? I mean, I think I remember, wasn't she the one that just was at the house, chilling out with the, under the uh, katatsu? There are so many... Times that we've spent with our friends and the like, the not realising that might have been the last time you might have actually hung out properly. Actually being able to uh, make promises and plan to keep seeing each other later on. Would be nice, I guess. <laughs> With all of the um, the places that they've been, the sites that she's seen, the times that they've been camping around, she's got plenty of stories to uh, go around and tell you when they may may what may well may listen. One thing that I'm missing, I think. I'm not that interesting. I mean, it's good enough reason. <laughs> mm. I mean... I can't be too mad about their puns, they did at least keep them to themselves. I mean, is there going to be a point where they go to a restaurant, have something, and don't say it's delicious? It's like they're constant, constantly surprised about how, how nice things are. Uh, she's got to grow. I mean, seeing some of these... These sites, these uh, little tourist spots and the like, really puts the area where I live to shame. Maybe it's just the UK in general, we don't have that many... Uh, That many, uh, cool little uh, environment pieces, geological factors. You either see three or four islands, fair enough. I mean... They've got to get their, their stuff there somehow. I like the non... 
not almost a ordinary way of going about it. I've seen floating villages and things like that in, I think, Vietnam and whatnot. Yeah, I can't wait. There are some low tide paths. I actually don't know if they still exist. There were, but 15 years ago, low tide paths that you could actually go up to some sand reefs and the like. And how's she going to feel about them just running off? As long as they go out there, come back at a, at a good time, don't get themselves into any trouble. They don't seem to care all too much about the loose rocks. I mean... They're having fun running around. Neshko's taking it slowly and still stumbles. Yeah, there's no stopping her, is there? It would be a wake-up call. I know a couple of people, an old co-worker especially, who uh, New Year's swims in the sea. It's a big event. She's missing the duck. How disappointed is she going to... Disappointed is she going to be? And her dreams are shattered. She just thought she'd add to the delight. I feel as though her comparison here might be uh, a little lacking. But the difference between a geological structure and food. I mean, the taking no responsibility for, haha, I fooled you. It's your own fault. I can't believe you're so young. You don't know these things. You got such a room to grow. Living with them must be exhausting. When the sea isn't quite so freezing. They've come out, they've seen kind of what it's like out there. Well, tides aren't really a mystery, are they? I guess that is a fair photo to take. One that they'll probably, well, they've got to fill up the wall in their club room somehow. I guess it all works out for the best. In front. I mean, she's so far succeeded in not crashing, so... No more merging, no more bad puns, please. I mean, it is her special ability. Now, if she can do it without the moped, we might be talking. I guess with them trailing behind, she can get a 
better view of the open road. I, okay, to be fair, I don't like driving. I think I've made that abundantly clear too many times. But I think in some of these kind of picturesque roads and the like, you might be able to, uh, to make the case to me. There better not be any, uh, any accidents with the local wildlife. My brother had a run-in with a deer not too long ago. There are so many destinations here that I have forgotten almost all of them, but I might put down a list if I'm ever in certain areas of Japan, look out for things. <laughs> I mean, she has her priorities. And they are correct. They are sparing no, uh, no expense, no time to get started. And yeah. They wouldn't be able to last if they have to eat late. Quick, distract her, keep her away. See how long she can uh, hold her attention. <laughs> she has been... <coughs> She has been told. She's now under, well, not really house arrest, camp arrest. No drinking until they've done what they need. She almost got away with it. Mihama. I mean, I remember small bits of my geography lessons back at high school, very small amounts, seeing how certain estuaries and whatnot are formed. Definitely seems it. It's probably best not to tell her anything, keep it as vague as possible. Who's going to let the Who's going to let the secret slip? Well, they didn't until now. <sighs> they weren't exactly sneaky about it, yes. Which means she can be happy. Get back into the car quickly. Get them back. Get back into the uh, the drinking. Not quite midday drinking, eh? but uh, she will have some some time to herself. Are they the LED candle mock up things? Haven't seen them in a while. I like the bunting on the tent lines.
No trick candles? Ah, oh, shame. Yeah, considering the the breath they were taking on the the cake candles, no chance. And caribou. No. It's a present you're not allowed to open. It's for for them, I can say, yeah, that's a pretty good present. If someone just sprung that on me out of nowhere, but actually I can find a use for this. Definitely could be better than uh, some birthdays, which are quite understated. <laughs> She's finally been allowed. Having that kind of go ahead from them, they have unleashed a monster. Got some sauce for it. I hate it. <laughs> I mean, that would be the case with shrimp sauce. You'd hope it tasted a bit like shrimp. Any particular reason for the phone call here? Uh, do, well, yeah, they've been, for lack of her own trying, they've been holding her back. But compared to her just sat at home drinking the uh, canned beer and the like, Doing it out in nature? Eh, could be worse. Is that foreshadowing? I would like there to be a little bit of uh, trouble that they have to come up against. Will any of them be able to actually sleep properly if they go to bed early? The allure of seeing more sights, going to the Mount Duruma. She. Ah, I thought I heard an engine. I thought we had Vin sneaking away on the moped or something again. Yeah, I think I'd be uh, curled up in blankets in a sleeping bag, sleeping bag in the car. Wow, oh, they are a bit far ahead. Okay, I can kind of understand where her, her little simile there. I mean, face moisturizers keep the skin all fresh and, well, not dry, I would say. General skincare routine would be good during the winter months. It's been, I was about to say that, damn it. It's been passed down in the family.
I think one thing about all of the, the cooking that they've done with the limited ingredients, using the same kind of stuff over multiple meals, you can see how to use it for various bits and pieces. You can get the most out of it as possible. <laughs> get the most out of it as possible. Are they going to have to drag her down? I mean, considering she was almost six feet under by the time she made it to the top. Yeah, considering how flat, I guess, might be the right word, it... how, how flat the, uh, the UK is in this area, there are no grand hills with this dragon's back that you can see. Don't like those eyes. But if you want acres and acres of just unfettered rolling uh, fields, you've got that in abundance. How many times are they going to be seeing the the sunrise in various spots around Japan? Never forget capybaras. It's the uh, grandest prize for any journey. <laughs> yeah, you'd probably want to wake her up for that, at least. What a way to spend a birthday. Just having a good time where you can relax, not have to have much care in the world other than just being a little chilly, I guess. Life would be so much easier if you could uh, just have these kind of calming days. Sat back with friends, looking at the sunrise. No. Work and bills and taxes. They've got that to look forward to. Although, you know, considering they have each got their own little side jobs, paying for all the various equipment that they'll be taking with them and Probably stocking up quite a bit for their camping adventures in the future. Much like as I'm currently also watching Long Riders, seeing people actually work towards things that they want to pursue. Makes it all uh, almost worth it. No matter what kind of day you've had, you'll probably end your camp always with a smile. Please keep the giant shrimp head away. There really is so little that I can say about Yudu camp other than just what they're doing and experiencing at the time because, well, we know the formula. Have somewhere they want to go, bring their friends along. I would like a bit more of the you know camping setup and their ways of making it all uh, semi decent at least. But I think we're past that now. Now it's into the they know enough where they can just set themselves up, get ready, get food ready, enjoy the scenery. But it is going to be saddening once Yudo camp is over, considering that we're almost at the end of this season. So. 
What am I going to do with my Mondays? If you watch these end episode parts, then uh, drop a, a comment down below with a, a couple of shows that you may want to fill in that you think might be a good replacement for Yuru Camp. The uh, nice happy times, perk of the week up, well, at least start the week on a good note. But have you ever had a birthday gathering or something that was actually a surprise? People put put some effort into a uh, secret surprise party for you? Because I know for sure I haven't. Not since I was about eight, at least. Sad times. But I will say, looking back on it, the days when you could just sit back without a care of the world, just enjoy a, a few hours with your friends with a, a cake or two. Reliving the simplicity through Yudu Camp is uh, an odd feeling. It's heartwarming at the same time as a little bit nostalgic. Still, I did never have twice boiled stock from a uh, from shellfish, though. So maybe I've been missing out. Who knows? I will say the more that I watch Yudu Camp, the more that I see them visiting places and just having a look around, see the. The cool sights to see, a lot of it is all, all focusing, or at least having Mount Fuji in the background. It's really giving me more of a sense of a get-up-and-go urgency to do something. Go out for a, a holiday or the like. Maybe actually put the plans that I've been formulating in my head for years into actual action. I just hope that there's some Pombolo food stalls at the end of it. Damn, the lies, the subterfuge, the uh, falsehoods and fakeries. You can never trust anything around here. But whether or not you're very eager to see the next episode for the Carter Pinchos, like the Barras, I don't actually know any, that any more language. <sighs> I don't actually know that word in any more languages than that, so. Giant rodents. The uh, highlight of my uh, my evening would be uh, seeing some of those. So I'm very much looking forward to the last episode of this season. Maybe you are as well. If you liked this one, let me know. Leave a like and a comment down below. Consider subscribing. Most importantly, wrap up warm. Get yourselves a, a nice little rest. I'll see you bright and early for the next one. If you want to take a dip in the freezing ocean that is my channel, consider joining onto my Patreon, because it's a lot more fun and not so much risk of hyperthermia. So, I need to thank Noku, Sal, Croyville, Diego Zenhausen, Guado, Kite, Raywind, LightWizard91, Shiwan, Tori Jane, and everyone else. For if it wasn't for them, I would not be seeing any of the sights that I have had to the honour of witnessing so far.